If you're considering purchasing the Elementi Firebolt, then this video is for you. I go over all the features, specs, benefits, how to assemble the fire pit, how to turn on for the fire pit, how to ignite the fire pit. So make sure to stick tuned and watch the whole video. If you have any questions about this particular product, you can check out the link in the bio below or contact us at 888-671-4611. I had the pleasure of visiting Elementi myself and I can attest to the quality and service of this product. So make sure to check it out if you're considering buying a fire pit for your backyard. With the Elementi Firebolt, you don't have to worry about settling. This fire pit is constructed of glass fiber reinforced concrete, which is the highest quality material you can buy for a fire pit. Included in your order, you'll receive 13 pounds of lava rock, a canvas cover, a 10 foot gas hose, and a repair kit. You can also replace the lava rock with recycled fire glass or reflective fire glass. We have tons of colors available on the website for an extra cost, so make sure to check the link below to see all the colors that we have. Let's go over some assembly instructions, but please make sure to refer to the owner's manual yourself. We'll have it linked in the bio below for you to check out. So you're going to place the lava rock. Make sure to place the lava rock by hand. Don't pour the whole bag because you want to avoid clogging the burner with dust. Second, you'll want to arrange the lava rock so it's about one inch above the top of the burner. And please make sure to be careful not to cover the igniter box with lava rock to ensure it lights properly. So first, you're going to want to unscrew the igniter and insert the AAA battery included in your purchase. Second, you're going to place the tank seat on the ground and place a 20 pound propane tank into the tank seat. Third, tighten down the screw on the side of the tank seat to secure the propane tank. Note, the fire pit must be 60 inches away from the gas tank. Four, you're going to want to check that there's no debris in the gas tank head, the regulator valve, or the burner ports. Five, attach the gas line to the tank by turning the knob clockwise. Tighten it by hand only. The control knob is on the right and the igniter is on the left. The control knob must be in the off position to start. You're also going to want to make sure that the propane tank is connected and you're going to slowly open the valve on the LP gas cylinder. Next, you'll push and hold the igniter button to create sparks. While holding the igniter button with one hand, use your other hand to push and turn the control knob to the low position to light the burner. If ignition does not occur in 5 seconds, push and turn the control knob to off. Wait 5 minutes and allow the gas to dissipate. Once the burner is lit, continue to hold the knob in for about 20 seconds and release. Observe the flame and make sure all burner ports are lit. Flame height should be about 13 inches tall and you can adjust the flame to the desired height with the control knob. And to turn off the fire pit, you're going to turn and push the control knob clockwise to the off position and turn the cylinder valve on the gas tank clockwise to close. You can expect an impressive 45,000 BTUs of heat output with this fire bit, which is definitely enough to keep everyone warm around the fire. The Elementi Lunar Bowl size is probably one of its highest selling points because it's versatile enough to fit into many backyard or patio spaces. It's 42 inches long, 42 inches wide, and 16 inches high. The burner ring is about 12 inches in diameter and the burner pan is 23.7 inches in diameter. You have a choice between light gray and dark gray for this fire feature. The Elementi Lunar Bowl comes in either propane or natural gas, depending on what fuel source you want to go with. We have a blog below that kind of goes over the benefits of propane and natural gas and why when one might be the right choice for you. So make sure to check that out below. And with a price tag of $1,399, this Lunar Firebowl is definitely well priced given all of its features, specs, and benefits. Getting a premium Firebowl like this in the market is usually about $2,000 standard. Now let's go over the optional accessories and why each one might be right for you. For you flame lovers, the windscreen can be a great addition, helps keep any wind or air restricted from the flame. Also is a great add-on if you have children or pets and you don't want anyone getting too close to the fire. 
The stainless steel lid, I personally always recommend to my customers because it protects the burner area when it's not in use. So if you're living in an area with a lot of debris or if the fire pit is under a tree, the burner is definitely going to be the most valuable part of the fire pit table. So the stainless steel lid is always a must grab in my opinion. The tank cover is also great. It helps provide a uniform look so that your propane tank isn't unsightly. Hey there, just want to say thanks so much for stopping by firepitsurplus.com. We're open every day. Uh, make sure to call, chat, uh, text us if you have any questions. We're here to help you pick out your ideal fire pit, wood stove, or patio heater. We work with interior designers, real estate agents, builders to get them exclusive pricing. So if that sounds like you, make sure to reach out. Uh, we only carry the best brands in the industry, and that can really be backed by our reviews. People are really happy with the product. Free shipping on anything over $200, uh, no sales tax in most states. And for the most part, we have a lowest price guarantee. Shout if you're interested in anything I just talked about and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.